kids, it's Karen from Waterfall Acrylics. How are you? Today I'm going to be doing a big swipe on a 16 by 20 inch canvas. Um, I didn't choose these colors. They are um, samples for a commission piece. And normally I will put colors together and give to a client and it'll be on a little six by six. But today I decided to go big because I just felt like it. So um, I hope this painting turns out. I wanted to give a shout out to all of you that sent me uh, information on containers uh, for me to pour in. I mean, I got so many. That's why I love the art community and that's why I do these videos because it gives me a chance to chat with you guys. So much appreciated. And uh, yeah, let's get started and uh, get you down. All right, as usual, colors, pouring medium, recipe, ratio, brands etc. will all come up on the screen at the end of the video. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, put down my white. I'm not going to worry about it covering the entire canvas. I'll do that when I tilt. Looking good. And this is just going to be straight across tonight. So, I have all golden fluid acrylics, except for one Amsterdam paint. So, this is my permanent violet dark. A little bit of red violet. Oh, this is Utrecht. Not as much. Cerulean blue deep. Just a little bit. Some teal. And then I have some Amsterdam in pearl blue uh, here. Just for sort of the bling factor. And I have both titanium white and carbon black as cell activators. going to put a line of the white down. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's on the side of my tarp. Or, yeah. On my island countertop. It needs to be a little wider. I'm going to stick this in. Use this as my swiping tool. Get it all ready for when I put some black down. And then swipe with the white. Something like that, it can run back. Pretty colors.
going to pour some on my card. One little spot. One little tiny spot. Oops. Well, for being a lefty, it's a pain in the butt sometimes. that one. I think I'll leave that go and pour it off. Yep, I move things out of my way. Plenty of paint. I don't normally do this, but I'm going to give a torch because I do have bubbles. Let's just go back and forth for a second. need some movement or something. I guess I'll go for that when I'm done getting coverage. Oh, a lot of cells. Let me see what I like. I like this part. I don't know if I like the big giant cells. I got a cool little pattern going on here that I do like. I don't like the, um, I don't like the skeleton spine going down the middle. I'm 
and take off some of that spine stuff. Holy giant cells. get rid of some of this right here Trying to put some movement into this. So I'm using the weight of the paint to slide everything and bend it, bring it down. So right now it's like um, I don't want to splooge on it. The weight of the paint is all right here. So I'm going to bring it down a little lower and then swing back, just so it has some, you know, movement and not a straight line. And I did splooge in it. Bring that down a little more and then use that to like curve this around. Come down a little, take some of it off and then I'm going to go back because I don't like wonky edges either because <laughs> I'm picky. I feel like it's just a wall of cells. This one part's coming off. I have plenty of paint to play with. I'm gonna take it off right here in the middle. One, two, a little more, a little more, a little more. back. I feel like I'm channeling my inner Mina tonight. I'm working on a big canvas outside, tilting everywhere. I wish I could do that. Totally jealous. Just adding some more movement. Big cells, little cells, interesting things to look at. Let me put that little mountain thing in the middle. This is my focal point. Let me stop and stare. I'm gonna stare for two minutes. Check my corners. No bikini corners. I wish it had more white. I wish I would have sprinkled white throughout it and before I tilted anything at all. I'm worried that it's too late. I'm gonna walk away from this for um, a couple minutes and come back at it with fresh eyes. There are parts I I do really like um, the bottom half of this painting here. 
I'm not so crazy about this section. So I don't know if I don't like it uh, enough to do something about it or leave it. So I'll be back in a couple minutes. Okay, I'm back. I still don't like this part right here. The rest of it's good. I kind of feel like the, um, like I need to lose either, I probably need to lose the, uh, my mind just went blank. What's the name of this stupid color? The red violet. Because between the red violet and the permanent violet deep, it it's really close to taking over this painting. So maybe if I can get rid of a little bit of it right here um, and stretch out the blue um, just, a, just a bit, I'll be happy. If it looks like I'm gonna ruin it, I will stop. So. See, the way the paint is still, I still have a little bit of paint on the canvas. So I'm gonna take this up again. I should move my hand out of the way, Goober Girl. Let some of that come off and then bring it back down. Now let me look, see if that helped. Oh yeah, oh yeah, now we're cooking. I'm just gonna um, straighten this part out a little bit and I think that'll be it. Actually, it can have a little bit of a bend, I guess. I guess, see, the paint is slowing way down now. I think we leave it just like that. Ta-da! Let me give it one last look. I think that was the right call. I think I went over too far. This is where you could just play with it. Uh. There we go. Um, there are definitely um, some really cool parts to this that I really, really like that I'll show you. Let me get the camera done um, for a close up of my favorite bits and bobs. Be right back. I'll just take off the glove and turn the camera off. All right, here's a close up view. And I'm gonna go up higher for a second because I just realized um, something. So I was looking at the orientation with this at the bottom and that as the top, which would look like this, right? And then um, I realized the orientation should go this way, where this is the bottom and that's the top. It just looks hella cool with that orientation with this whole swoop coming down. So I'm gonna um, flip it upside down and um, I do like the parts where I got just hints of black lacing from adding the black um, line at the end and letting it sink a bit, particularly in this corner here, is really cool. And there's just like hints of it, like down here, um, throughout there. And you got a little spot over here. Just little areas, um, the color blending right there. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, amazing. It's just so amazing how much you can stretch too. So this will go off to my client. Um, just for look-see, this one will be available for sale. I was just color testing for her. I have a feeling that um, I might do another one for her, smaller, um, with deoxazine purple instead of the violet. Um, so I think she wants more purple. This part here, that's just, that's just gorgeous. 
And right here, another favorite thing is like this rose I have right here coming off the edge. I didn't want to lose that. So lots and lots of interesting things to look at. Let me flip around and say goodbye. Hey guys, I skipped the, uh, you know, my usual ending and, and waited to show you the dried results of this guy here. Oops. Let me see if I like this orientation. Yep, that's the orientation I like. It dried great. I'm happy that parts of it dried darker and that the, um, the permanent violet dark showed up so the whole thing just isn't red violet. And let me zoom in a little bit on um, some close-ups. So of course, that is just fantastic. I love the um, various shades of the lacing, like particularly in here, it goes from the red to the white into black. It's just uh, cool. I love the big thing. And for me, um, what makes this painting is the movement. So I was really glad that I used the weight of the paint to move things around. There she be. It'll go up in my um, web shop at waterfallacrylics.com. I'm just gonna give this a spray varnish. It's too big to resin. Um, before I go real quick, um, I'm going to do a live pour this Sunday, November 1st, at six o'clock Eastern Daylight Saving Time, um, right here on my channel. Um, I have the results from the viewer's choice, the color selection for my 20 inch Convexo round. Um, to paint on and maybe um, since viewers choice for the color maybe we'll do viewers choice for the technique so tune in bring your questions and we'll duck around for an hour or so um, again Sunday November 1st 6 p.m. Eastern Daylight Saving Time I hope to see you there thanks for watching and for the love and support and uh, yeah I'll see you guys soon peace out